Crew Ball. Lovely piece of digital pinball for the Sega Mega Drive. Uh, well, no. Scrap that, actually. Let's try this. Ah, Crew Ball. A slightly shoddy bit of digital pinball for the Mega Drive. Yes. You see, I quite like digital pinball games. And on the Mega Drive, you're not badly served. You've got Dragon's Fury, aka Devil's Crash. Uh, you have Sonic Spinball, even. You know, it's it's not bad. And if you spread your wings a little bit further from the same time period, you've got the Pinball Dreams fantasy sequence of games, which were available on the uh, Amiga, the Atari ST, even the Atari Jaguar. But Crew Ball, yeah. Now, for those who don't know, the crew in the title refers to the LA-based hard rock legends Molly Crew, who at around the time of this game, sort of 91, 92, were at the absolute peak of their popularity, having not long since had a massive US number one album with Dr. Feelgood. Now, I think it's fairly safe to say at this point, Motley Crue themselves had no freaking clue about this game. They were so supposedly clean and sold, but in reality, they were all high as kites. And this was obviously a marketing decision made by their management, as evidenced when you go looking back at things, and you find that the game was previewed right up until the last minute under the title Twisted Flipper. Anyway, let's have a look at some footage I recorded of this game while I tell you what I really think about it. So, things make a fairly decent start there with a fairly good rendition of Motley Crue's mega hit, Dr. Feel Good. But beyond that, uh, most of the music you'll hear in this game isn't actually Motley Crue's. There are three tracks. Uh, you really have to work to actually hear them beyond hearing Dr. Feel Good on the title screen. And as you'll see from this footage, I'm not good enough to do that. You do get this nice little intro animation here. It's actually quite well drawn, quite well done. You know, it's it adds a little bit of humour, but you know, it's it's a cheap joke. Ho ho ho! Late night at home, causing all the neighbours to wake up with his loud rock and roll music. How dare he! But anyway, yeah, it's a nice little intro. It looks good. It sounds all right with the Motley Crue music, but. You know, this is this is probably the best part of the game, to be fair. So, you know, we'll pop in a single-player game. Got a slightly scrolling playfield. There's a little bit of left-to-right play here for when you're firing the ball off. And obviously, it does scroll up and down. Now, the graphics look okay. I would say, it's, to be fair, it's a little bit Spartan-looking, you know. Um, it's, yeah, it's... I mean, some of the graphics look all right. Some of those enemies here that are on the pinball table look reasonable, but they're not the best animated. But I think the biggest issue I have with this game, beyond anything else, is the frankly shoddy ball physics. This ball bounces round like it's made out of rubber filled with helium. There's no real sense of where the ball's going to go. The physics are horrendous. It's just... You can hit the ball in the same spot on the flipper multiple times and the ball will bounce off in different directions. Like, it, it makes no sense. You should be able to control where the ball goes based on where on the flipper it strikes. You have minimal ability to do this in crew ball. It truly is that awful. It, and, you know, that, that makes or breaks a video pinball game. If the ball physics are wrong, the game will not play well. And this game doesn't play well. It really doesn't, unfortunately. And you can see it here on some of the bounces off the scenery and off the flippers. It, the ball just, no, 
It's awful, 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 awful. You know, it, I mean, I suppose you could say that this, the ball physics are an accurate rendition of being a member of Motley Crue and trying to do just about anything at the time because, you know, it's it's like the ball is as high as you are. Now, what I will say is, this isn't the only part of the game. This is the main table. The table does change as the level goes on, as your score adjusts and as you hit various bonuses. There's also a bonus area, which I'm not actually good enough to reach, where you fight off hordes of enemies in a side-on, almost breakout-type area, um, and that's breakout the game, where you do actually get to listen to some Motley Crew. But, as I said, I'm not good enough at coping with these again horrendous ball physics to get that far into the game unfortunately so i can't show you so i'll be honest about that but yeah it's just <sighs> when you look at what some other video pinball games are done by this point like the aforementioned dragon's fury or you know the pinball dreams games even some of the 8-bit Pin, digital or video pinball titles was so much better than this it's just it's painful and yeah obviously Motley Crue signed off on this or their management did because someone at Electronic Arts waved a big bag of cash in their face you know it. I, I don't have anything else to say it's terrible do not buy this game even if you can get it cheap just don't please